Hey Scale Wonderland crew, today we're gonna paint and weather this little bad boy, the 135th Kitten Craft Trad from the Mia. The first step, like usual, uh, I'm gonna prime this little boy. Uh, I'm using Mr. Surfacer 1500 Black with uh, Mr. Leveling Thinner. Um, like, uh, I would say 90% of uh, all the build that I do, I always start with a black primer. Uh, but um, yeah, it's, it's basically a way after that to um, give some more depth right right off the bat and after that you can add some more details that's exactly what we will do in this video the first layer of highlight i'm gonna use uh vallejo premium uh white primer uh, that i will mix uh with uh with my thinner uh probably i would say close to 50 50 just to add some uh some little more depth and details uh, to your prime job this way when you apply your base coat uh, it's gonna give some more light to your model same thing with the wheel um, don't forget that you're just adding some highlight so you don't uh, you don't paint uh, your uh, your wheels all over the place for the base coat of this uh, little guy uh, we'll use uh, Duncan Gelb uh, and dark yellow so 80% of uh, the first one and dark yellow uh, close to 20% again I'm, uh, I'm mixing uh, with thinner and I'm also always adding some uh, I would say a drop or two of uh, flow improver just make sure that you apply some uh, a really thin coat of your base uh, your base layer uh, it's gonna be the last video for this year, so uh, without you guys, I will not produce some video. Uh, I don't have that much time because of work and everything, but I really love to share my work with you guys. So we're gonna start with the camouflage. Uh, that's the Resin Gradron, Resin Dragron, or whatever you say it, but uh, it's a green for uh, German camouflage. Um, you're in this case since the model is uh i would say pretty small compared to a regular tank um we're just gonna do some uh some fine line of uh of the camouflage because if you see on the model it's always like that the second part is the i would say uh, uh german red brown so red brown that's the uh the german name of it so the same thing you're just gonna apply a uh, really fine line uh, as much as possible of uh, of the camouflage uh, you don't need to do a really large uh, camouflage now it's time for uh, painting uh, the the wheel the wheel of the uh, the small cart and also uh, of the the bicycle in the front so I'm using dark rubber uh, from Panzer Aces uh, from Vallejo uh, Panzer Aces is a uh, it's an awesome thing for you guys if you're building uh, armor model that's the the line of uh, Vallejo that you uh, you really need to have because you you're gonna cover the US the German um, the the um, the Russian uh, or even the British Army with that they have a, an all uh, all line of um, of different product for that now it's time for the details that uh, we put uh, on the build uh, of, uh, of this video so if you didn't see the first part of this video the build and all the different add-on that we did I will put the, a link uh, on the top right corner for you guys to uh, to see it on the first part of this uh, this series of uh, building and painting this uh, kitten craft rad I told you that uh, it was one of the best kit for you beginners uh, and even for me uh, like I said I, I did it 
multiple times, but I really enjoy doing it uh, again and again. Um, I'm just adding some uh, some uh, Vallejo light sand just to start the weathering process on the, on the train tracks. Um, this way, you're gonna have uh, I would say a pretty uh, pretty realistic uh, feel to it. Next step, uh, we're gonna use again uh, the dark rubber from uh, from Vallejo to um, to paint the rubber pad after we uh, we use the uh, the light uh, light dust. And now it's time for the decal. There's only one decal on this kit, and it's time to put it on. <laughs> Just make sure that you're using a microsol. Uh, or any uh, any agent to make sure that uh, your decal will bond with your uh, with your model, and that's the finished part of uh, all the details uh, that we uh, we add to the vehicle. And uh, there's also, um, like I said, I will paint the bench uh, again with the black rubber. Uh, it's super easy. And now I'm using something that uh, I'm not really. I would say use really often it's a it's a filter filter it's kind of a really really light wash and now we start the fun part the weathering process the first step is by using the stippling method with uh, with a piece of sponge uh, that you can hold with your tweezer or with your hand and um, it's only to put uh, I would say some some uh, some chipping uh, on your uh, on your vehicle and on the cart. This way, you're gonna figure it out where your chipping process will be, and that's the the result you are looking for. It's the same process for any any vehicle if you want to use the chipping method. But not only that. Um, you're gonna use it on the wheels and things like that but we're gonna use also our paintbrush to add the I would say the kind of the rust stone uh, inside the chipping uh, the chipping uh, that you did with the stippling method just adding uh, some more rust detail inside the chip that you already did um, with your sponge this way, uh, you're gonna you're gonna add some more details. Just make sure that you're using a really fine and uh, really small uh, brush. Uh, this way, you're gonna have um, I would say a better looking uh, finish with your uh, with your chipping process. Again, guys, if you like what I'm doing, just don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon uh, it's always a pleasure to do video for you guys so we continue with the chipping process uh, again the wheel are I would say most of the time a uh, little bit more damaged than the vehicle himself now it's time for the uh, the exhaust or the muffler uh, I don't know if it's the right term of seeing muffler it's probably for, for a car and we're gonna do the I would say the the rusting uh, process so I'm just gonna you know, use uh, the um, product from AK interactive uh, dark rust deposit and light rust and we're gonna finish uh, everything uh, with uh, with the rust wash uh, at the end like I said, it, everything's gonna be weathered uh, a little bit more uh, by the end of this video, so you don't have to be perfect with your uh, your rust uh, your rust tone and things like that. The only reason why I'm adding some rust is to get some more texture and everything like that. So. I'm using again the thick mud from Vallejo. That's a, I would say that's a really awesome product. If you're working on the, uh, like uh, like I'm doing right now, it's a diorama. It will be located in uh, in Berlin, 1945. So it's European uh, earth uh, by Vallejo. It's an acrylic product. So uh, different than the enamel one from uh, from AK Interactive, but the look is absolutely amazing. 
I'm using this product, I would say, for years now. And whenever I'm doing a, a diorama in, uh, in Normandy or different things like that, I'm using this product all the time. And now we're just going to finish the track with, uh, with again, with, um, I would say, a, a, a shot of uh, light mud. Uh, to add uh, again some more uh, weathering to uh, to our uh, our tank tracks. Now it's time to assemble everything. So we're just gonna glue the tank tracks. In this case, I'm not using uh, Tamiya tin cement because all, uh, of all the paint that we did and all the weathering, I'm using super glue uh, to make sure that they will. It will get fixed uh, properly so um, by using super glue you can have uh, a really strong bond and your model will stay uh, together another uh, I would say the last piece of, um, of weathering is uh, by using uh, the light dust deposit by AK uh, for the wheels uh, the front wheels of, uh, of the kitten craft trad and also the with the two wheels of the cart just to add some more uh, realistic look of uh, of dust, uh, dusty, um, dusty road and everything like that. So, so again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, since it's the last video of the year, I hope you have a really happy new year. Just make sure that you stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.